morning students and my dear parents welcome to standard 1 moral science class children look here what do you see in this picture yes you see a mother father a boy and a girl so you see a family picture here children now tell me what is the role of a mother in the family yes she takes care of the family and what is the role of the father he fulfills our need so mother and father in the family are our caretakers now children can you tell me a person who takes care of all the living and non living things think children who is he the supreme power who is he he is god god a loving father so children today we will study moral science chapter 2 god is my father from your living values book first let's read the chapter god is my father i am his child he loves me very much i also love him he gives me all i need he looks after me and takes care of me always truly he is my loving father now let's understand the chapter children god is my father so who is a father god is a father why god is considered as a father because he has created us and he is a caretaker god is my father i am his child so here the child is saying that we are the children of god god has created everyone he has created us he loves me very much so the child is saying god loves him very much i also love him so the child is saying as god loves him in the same way he also loves god him is referred to god here he gives me all i need who is he your children he is referred to as god here so god gives me all i need the child is saying god gives me all i need whatever i wish for god grants me he looks after me who looks after the child god looks after the child and takes care of me always so god looks after the child and also takes care truly he is my loving father so the child is saying truly really he is a loving father he loves the child very much children based on the chapter let's see some exercises a answer these questions question number 1 is who is god who is god children god is my father god is my father question number 2 why does god love you god loves me because i am his 
child. Question number three. Why do you love God? I love God because he gives me all that I need. Now, question number two is write true or false below each of these statements. Children, beside these statements, you have to write true if the statement is correct and you will write false if the statement is wrong. Let's see the first one. God gives me everything that I ask for. So is this statement correct children? Yes. So we will write true. Question number two. I love God more than anything else. Is this statement correct? Yes. So we will write true. Number three. God always cares for me. This statement is also correct. So we will write true. Children, let's see the next exercise. C. Write the names of two persons who love you very much. Here you have to write two person who loves you very much. Who are their children? Yes, they are your parents, your mother and your father. So here you will write, my father, my mother. Next, who loves you more, they or God? Do your parents love you more or God? Who loves you? God loves you more. So you will write, God loves me more. Children, I hope you all have understood the chapter. Based on these children, these exercises will be uploaded on the school website from your living value book. Please read the chapter and do the exercises. Thank you.